wonder in kind built over time this is my love for you steady and pure patient and sure this is my love for you <laughs> Ever since I got my new horse gravy, I have been absolutely itching to take him to a three-day event. Of course, that takes time and planning, so today I'm actually going to school him in preparation for a three-day event that we finally have this weekend, and I am just absolutely overjoyed by it. I am a little nervous, but Gravy and I have been getting along really well, and we've been working pretty hard since I've gotten him, so I think it is about the right time to start actually starting our eventing career together. Given the words, what would you say? On this one line Given the gold, what would you spend On this one fine Before we sleep Will we dream in the sunlight? If I should go before you wake. Easy, wow. If there's one thing about horses, it's that you need to be prepared to be down on your luck. Obviously, I was extremely hopeful that finally I was going to restart my eventing career with a horse of my own. As you can see in our little training footage, that's not happening this weekend. So, we had a little mishap. I want to blame it on the wet ground, and it was probably that, and that is my fault for assuming that the arena had been pulled, and there was a deep spot, gravy misstepped, and I had to take him to the vet. Now, the good news is, is that it's nothing this serious, but it is a big enough injury that he won't be better within the next three days, so I have to completely scratch him from the show. So, I'm pretty down on my luck already. I'm a little disappointed, but I think I will survive, and so will he. It's not a super serious injury to the point where he's gonna be on stall rest for months on end and get big and fat like another horse we know very well, even though that joke is getting very old, and pretty soon he's gonna be back to his prime. I'm talking about Rainley, by the way. After I got the harsh news that Gravy could not perform this weekend, I could not back out of the show because I spent a lot of money to be there, and then I remembered the super fun fact that I left left out that it was a schooling three-day event, so I could just bring any horse I wanted and play it off as an experience kind of thing. The problem though was finding the right horse for this job. It's only a two-star event because I wanted to start small with gravy. Eventing takes a lot out of a horse. It doesn't matter the level or the star behind the number. It's a taxing kind of show. So I took a look at my stable and I locked eyes with Rainley. There was no way I was going to get that horse to even think about doing a cross-country round, so I digressed. I thought about taking Sahara, but I realized she needed rest because she had a show coming up next week as well, a hunter show. 
she wasn't going to be an inventor. I looked at Simon, but he's a show jumper. He was not going to do dressage. I looked at Dash, and I didn't want to bring Dash either, really, because he has the Equestrian Festival Invitational coming up, and that takes a lot out of a horse as well, and he needs to focus on that. Then I looked at Nero, but that was a no-go because Nero only does dressage. And then my little hazel eyes locked onto my little baby Montero. Montero and I have a very extensive history with each other dating back literally about two years. And I just had to sit there and really look at him and revel in my decision. It's only been a little bit since he's been back in our care and I figured maybe this might be a good welcome home for him. Playing all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace that I can find And while we made it to the showgrounds pretty safely, hi, yeah, we're here, it didn't come without its own obstacles. The traffic was horrendous. I hit a really big rock because I am a terrible driver, and I basically tore up the front of, of the truck, and I'm gonna get yelled at when I go home by <laughs> pretty much everybody because it's a communal trailer. I mean, I do own it, but still, now I have to worry about that. It's just it's just one thing after another today, you know? It, it, what, a, what a fantastic week. Anyway, I kind of lied earlier. This isn't a three-day event, which I also wasn't aware of because I guess I guess I can't read along with the fact that I can't drive either. I have to school Montero in about 10 minutes and then about two hours after that we have our dressage round and then another two hours after that we have show jumping and then tomorrow which is Sunday no Saturday will be our cross-country round and then we go home the same day. A little untraditional but again two days seems a lot easier than three and I'm okay with that. When they tell you Get your head down I will tell you Keep your head up And I will hold you close So we're about to go on. I know we look pretty spiffy, especially Montero. He looks very, very handsome. He had a little spook during schooling earlier. I mean, I'm not gonna read into it, assuming we're at a fairgrounds he's never been to and it's stressful and I kind of just threw him into this, but he's resilient. He'll figure it out. Steal your kisses So you probably watched that and you were like, oh man, that was pretty good. That was at least like a fourth place round. Well, no, I left, I left a part out. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure we didn't place. I can't wait to see the score sheet. Um, he just wasn't having it. He was fighting me on the bit the entire time. And I, I, he had enough in that corner and just decided to step over the little arena fence. So I'm going to go just reflect, I think, and get us ready for our show jumping round. That's in about an hour and a half. And I'll catch up with you then. Okay, so you win some, you lose some. The whole round was good up until that little slip up at the end. I don't think he really likes the brick walls because, you know, horses have really bad depth perception as it is. So to him, it may have just looked like a very solid wall. I feel like I've forgotten to mention that Montero is only about five and a half years old. He's really not that old. So some things still look kind of scary to him, especially a solid brick wall. Maybe he felt like that if he went over it, and hit it, it wouldn't give away like a regular pole would and that made him nervous. I mean, I don't know what's going on inside of his head, but I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt because he's a baby and this is a schooling show and I'm just gonna leave with that. He's gonna get a lot of treats tonight. He really did try his best. It's a very scary environment with all the other horses, so he's being a good boy and I really appreciate that. We are sailors cross-country day. I'm a little nervous, I gotta admit, but I'm trying to keep my composure. He doesn't really seem like he wants to be here today, so I'm gonna go easy on him, but we shall see. Good boy. All right, off we go. Good boy, good boy. Easy. All right. Come on, come on. Okay. I'm already expecting to be eliminated, so I'm just, we're just gonna keep going. If he refuses, he refuses. All right, come on. Easy, downhill, easy. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think this is gonna go the way I want it. Okay, he actually went over that one. That's a start. I really think he just has an issue with very solid wall-looking jumps. I'm gonna assume that was him agreeing with me, so we're just gonna take a little walk along the beach now because there is no way we placed in that either, so might as well just enjoy the view, I guess.
We are back home, safe and sound. Montero's resting up in a pasture with Rain Lee because they are the best of friends. We ended up only placing in dressage. Um, we were disqualified from both show jumping and cross country. The score sheet for the dressage test really was not that bad. It's just they wrote on the side of the paper to work on his behavioral issues. They understood he was young though, and I don't really think it was a behavior issue. I think he was just stressed. We placed, I think, seventh. We still got a ribbon, and then we got a participation ribbon for even showing up. I don't know if it was for pity, because we did so terrible, but it was still very thoughtful. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this entire thing. It was kind of a very unlucky, hectic weekend. I have to take the truck into the shop today, and then Gravy has a checkup. He seems like he's already doing better. So at least a few good things came out of it. Montero got a learning experience. I got to spend more time with Montero, and it was, it was very nice weekend despite the slip-ups, the hiccups, whatever. So again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye!